has been a while. But before Good we go you. on, you have a great concert coming up, and I want to men <clears throat> mention this right away. Yeah. Nina Sa is coming to the Medina Performing Arts Center. That's right, the same place we have our Christmas show. And um, Lunasa uh, have been around since 1997, if you, if, if you can remember back that far. It's, uh, you know, a few years after Riverdance made their debut on the Eurovision contest. And, um, you know, the sort of Celtic, the Celtic tiger of, of, of uh, Irish music kind of, you know, uh, Irish music became really popular uh, at that point. And, uh, <clears throat> and so the, they were formed uh, uh, with a slightly different lineup than they have today. Uh, Mike McGoldrick was their piper, and um, now it's Killian Vallely from Armagh. Kevin and Crawford is still with Kevin him. Crawford, he was, uh, I think, um, was a, um, um, Mike McGoldrick was the flute player, actually, and then there mm, was, was uh, John McSherry was the original piper, so excuse me, okay. and now it's Kevin Crawford, and he's the front man. He's a, he's a very funny, witty guy. He's the, he's the sort We're of front man of the band. Yeah, yeah, so we're hoping to get uh, Kevin on the program here, maybe next week or the yeah, week after. Right. That would be fantastic. And so they're, they're, um, they're, uh, when I discovered them back in the day, I remember they came to Columbus. I drove down to Columbus to see them, and um, uh, they just put on a, an unbelievable show. Uh, you know, it's sort of, it's, 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 it walks the, the, their music walks the line of, of remaining within the tradition, but, uh, but is pleasing to the modern ear. And, uh, they, they just creative. are really creative and, um, and, uh, they have these beautiful old airs that they play, uh, but really exciting dance music mm -hmm. as well. So, so that's Sunday, February 23rd at 3.30 and the doors will open at 2.30. You can get, um, you can get tickets by calling me 440-554-2394. Or you can go to our website, kbbproductions.net, and uh, you can actually pick out your own seats if you if you prefer to do that. But uh, but feel free to give me a call. There um, there's uh, plenty of t plenty of seats left. It's uh, just to, just under a month uh, that they're going to be in town. So they're coming up from yeah. Pittsburgh and then they're headed up to uh, Michigan afterwards. Great. All right, what are you going to play for us this morning? Uh, so things, I mean, you can play us up right up to the point now. <coughs> our visitors, come on. Yeah, yeah, so... Um, what do you do? I'll do a, a couple of tunes here on the pipes. And in fact, uh, you always ask me, did you make these oh, pipes? And today I can finally say that yes, I made these pipes that I'm oh, playing to today. Oh, we're here so, for the <laughs> yeah. first time on the air. So, yeah, yeah, yes. so the, the, this is the first full set of pipes that I made back uh, seven or eight years ago. And uh, they're back in the shop for a uh, little bit of maintenance. And uh, so I think they're sounding pretty good today. We'll we'll see how it goes. The first one, I'm, the first tune I'm going to play is the March of the King of Leash, and um, and then I'll go into a jig called the Blarney Pilgrim. Go get him. <laughs>
Excellent Brian. Job. Great job, Excellent. Brian. Uh, anyway, let's talk for a minute more a minute about the, the yeah. concert, bringing us up to uh, the point where we're going to be speaking to our guests. So you just go ahead and promote your concert all you want while I find this thing out. <laughs> you got iPhone. it, yeah. So that, uh, once again, that's um, uh, Lunasa, uh, the traditional Irish music. Uh, the band is straight out of Ireland, uh, although some of the members are living in New York. They're, they're going to be here in uh, the Cleveland area uh, at the Medina Performing Arts Center on February the 23rd, uh, which is a Sunday afternoon at 3.30. Doors will open at 2.30. Tickets are uh, 25 27 and $29. And uh, you can give me a call, 440-554-2394, uh, to purchase tickets. Or you can go to our website, kbvproductions.net. And you can also go to our website and sign up for our e-newsletter. Um, uh, we have a bunch of fun and uh, interesting uh, events coming up this year, including um, uh, a concerto for the Illin Pipes. Uh, that we're going to perform with a group called True North Cultural Arts. Cool. And that's going to be um, at the end of March, uh, March 27th, Friday, at the Bay Presbyterian Church, and March 28th at the, um, at the Medina Presbyterian Church. Um, so we've got things like that. Uh, we're we're going to do a house concert, hopefully this spring, with uh, Katie Grennan from Gaelic Storm. And, um, and, uh, and then, of course, we'll be gearing up for our Christmas show again this year. It's hard to, hard to believe we're already thinking about Christmas, but we are. And... Um, this year, too, uh, in March, we are um, uh, our show Rambling House, which debuted at the Medina Performing Arts Center in March of 2019, will be doing its first uh, tour uh, of the West Coast. Uh, we're starting up out in a place called Bend, Oregon, and uh, we're going to be uh, performing in Climate Falls, as well as Ashland and Medford, Oregon. And uh, so we're excited about that. And uh, so if you're interested in, in uh, any Irish music happening around town, come to our website. Sign up for our e-newsletter, kbbproductions.net. There's, uh, there's a little pop-up that you can use to, uh, to sign up for our newsletter. And um, that's about all I got, Jerry. How are you? Okay, I think <laughs> we're uh, it's 1032. Thanks. So that means our folks from uh, Tom Joyce from Ireland. I don't know if he's on or not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There they come up. Eddie, are we on? Eddie right. says yes. We're Is Tom in Dublin? Good morning, Jerry. Tom? Are you? Calling in from Dublin. Good. It's called uh, the Lament for Limerick. Do you know? Do you know that tune, Jerry? That it, uh, it's a song that commemorates the um, the fall of Limerick in 1691. Oh, indeed, Patrick Sarsfield. Right. Was the um, was the man that um, right. actually fell there? That was and, a, right, right, and and uh, so apparently the the initial um, assault from the Will, from William of Orange was. That's right. uh, was fought, uh, was defeated, but um, but they camped out outside the city and they kind of starved uh, the the supplies into the city and uh, eventually were triumphant. So um, so and then and I guess they were they allowed the the Huguenots to go back to France and there was all sorts of political changes as a result um, of the final battle of that war. So uh, but one of the nice things we got out of it was this beautiful slow air uh, called the Lament for Limerick. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>
<clears throat> Beautiful and sad. Great stuff, Brian. I noticed how you uh, nice lit right into <laughs> your favorite tune. Dikesh. Your favorite tune. Yeah. jig. I love that. I gotta play that one for you on, oh, on yeah, Sunday it's morning. Oh, yeah, it's great. <clears throat> Brian, you are uh, you are doing something with the, is it the Omaha Symphony? That's right. Yeah, I'm uh, lucky uh, lucky enough to be a part of a show called Celtic Journey. Uh, that is a symphonic presentation of of uh, Irish music, song, dance, and storytelling. Uh, some of the same cast members from um, from a Celtic Christmas. Uh, Tom is telling a telling a story, and uh, Will, uh, William Coulter is the music director of the band. And uh, we're playing um, uh, this year. We're lucky enough to have, uh, 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 or uh, lucky enough to be playing with Samantha Harvey, Oshin McDermott's wife, talented accordion player and piano player and dancer. And um, so it's just uh, it's fantastic. We're going to be uh, the first weekend, I think, of March. Uh, we're going to be with the Omaha Symphony, and then we're flying over to Nashville. Um, and playing with the Nashville Symphony, uh, the same show. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm, I can't wait for it. Um, it'll be my first time <coughs> in Nashville. So uh, and uh, to play at the, I think it's called the Shermerhorn. Um, You're going to play the pipes. Going to play the pipes. Those with the, pipes, the ones you made. The ones I made. Yeah. Now yeah. anybody can buy a set of those. We can order a set that's of those true, beautiful yeah. pipes that you just played on. Yeah, that's right. <coughs> I, I, um, I, I'm, I've got orders for about, uh, I'd say about eight months right now. Um, and uh, um, uh, doing lots of practice sets and half sets and uh, uh, throwing a, a couple of full sets there. Uh, Tommy Kiley wants to know if you make him a set. <laughs> he wants to play them when he's doing his roofing job. <laughs> Provide a little entertainment for the guys there, that'd be great. Right. I'd be happy to make Tommy a, a set, I'd love to actually. If I ordered a set, how long would I have to wait? Just about eight months, I'd say. Yeah, maybe a year if you're uh, ordering a full set. So, um, yeah, I got a little uh, a workshop in the basement at the house and um, uh, in fact my, my son James is getting interested in the pipes and uh, so he comes down once in a while and sweeps the floors for me and, and uh, I've been showing him how to use the, uh, uh, the nail and the hammer, although you don't use those to make pipes, no, but you got to start not. somewhere. And he's, uh, he's been operating the drill press actually quite well, so he made himself a little pen. Well, it's quite an day. operation to make those, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. It's, oh, it's yeah. Um, about, I'd say about 160 hours to make a full set. Um, that's my estimate, so. But, Stick um, around, will you? Yeah, I'll be here. Not leave him. Yeah, I won't leave okay. until... It's just wonderful. It is, yeah. It's, it was built in 2000, and it's part of the school system there in, um, in Medina. And it's, um, it's really a beautiful theater, and uh, it's been a spectacular place to hold our Christmas show, which, by the way, thanks a million for your help in promotion. Uh, uh, for our Christmas show last year, it was it was um, it was great. It was Christmas really show was lovely. We had about 950 people there. It was just a dream come true, and uh, mm -hmm. with the help of uh, couldn't do it without the help of people like you. So thanks a million for uh, that. And we're, uh, we're glad to help. Yeah, and so and so it's going to be a great venue for Lunasa, and um, and you know they've they've played in bars and and clubs uh, locally, but I don't I think this is the first time that they will be um, at, at a performing arts center in Northeast Ohio. Um, which I think is a great venue. You can really hear uh, the subtlety um, uh, with the quality sound that you get at the Performing Arts Center, and and uh, to see them up on the big stage, I think it's going to be a real treat. So that's February 23rd at 3:30 in the afternoon. Doors open at 2:30. Uh, come early. We're going to have uh, a dance school doing a, a bake sale, um, most likely, and um, uh, that is a Madonna Performing Arts Center on 851 Weymouth Road. Uh, so if you're taking 71 South, uh, you'd get off at Route 3, um, I believe it is, and you'd take it uh, towards Medina about um, maybe 10 minutes uh, down Route 3, and um, it'll be there on the right. There's a digital sign out in front, and it's a big, beautiful, uh, brand new looking um, performing arts center. So my plenty, plenty my of first time there. there, Brian, was to see the uh, Christmas show. Right. And I was shocked by the uh, professionalism of that. I agree. The, the, the staff there are just fantastic. The lighting awesome. guy, uh, the tech director is this guy, oh, Matt Tomek. He lives in West Park and um, right down the street from PJ's. And uh, he, uh, he commutes down there every day to, to run the tech there. He's a fantastic uh, tech director and Debbie Munayak is the, uh, the manager of the theater and she's just so helpful in now, helping us put these on. In the next so. couple of weeks we're trying to get Kevin Crawford who plays the flute with Lunasa, trying yeah. to get him on here to do an interview and talk to him a bit. Uh, maybe even they're, they're on at 3.30 on Sunday, that yeah. Sunday. So you never know. 
Yeah, maybe there'd be time for them to come in. We yeah, might yeah. get a few of them in here. That'd I don't know if we got the whole group, but yeah, even maybe. if we could get Kevin in. That'd be amazing. Uh, yeah. So um, they have a new, they have a, the latest CD is called CAS, C-A-S. I that's think right. that's the way to pronounce it. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to play uh, cut number nine here. It's called The Irish Girl and f uh, featuring Mary Chapin Carpenter Fantastic. with Luna Sun. Here they are. Here's Lunacy. You get a chance to see them at the Medina Performing Arts Center. Here they are. Performing Arts Center on February 23rd uh, at 3.30 in the afternoon. Uh, hopefully I can do these. Now, one of the things on our listeners, you can hear this program about five minutes after we finish the program. Andrew oh. puts it out on podcast. So Fantastic. just go to our website and just hit the archives, and there it is. So I'd say about five to seven minutes usually after the program. I see Tom Kelly getting all lined up, Brian, so let's hit it. <laughs> 